Hello, welcome back. We learned about shape style, dimension style, and text style. We could advance our knowledge for text using the auto text further alongside pages and layers. So first thing we should learn is pages. I have a layer tray here on the left side. If you could find it on the right side, it says pages and layers. Now you could add a page by pressing plus sign and you could navigate it with the arrows or page up and down. You could also click on pages to see your table of contents. For this page, I renamed it into architectural and the second page into structural for demonstration purposes. And on our layers, we have a default layer and a layer on every page. Let's get started. Say you want to have a drawing title. Say ground floor plan. Line to center. When you right click, there is an option that says move to layer. By default, it is on the default layer. And you could see it highlighted with a small blue dot. Making a copy of this, I could put a code that says page name. No space. Okay. So what this does, it becomes an auto text. Page name follows the name of the page number one, which is architectural. So if I rename that to architectural sheet, it gets renamed automatically. Another code you should learn is called page number, capital P, capital N. Oops, click outside. This follows or shows the number of architectural sheet, page 1. So where do we use this? Say we want to put that here, the page name and the page number. When we press next, we want it to appear here again. So going back, we could select both of this, right click, and move to every page. Right click, move to layer on every page. This turns the text red, but when we go to the next page, we could see that it is there as well. However, page number changes to page number two and page name changes to the name of the page which I place here as structural. We could also copy that and make it architectural sheet. Architectural sheet number one, architectural sheet number two. But if you are just going to use architectural sheet, even without page name, you could just type it down and it will be the same text all throughout. So if I add a page, plus comes architectural sheet number three. Where can we apply this? I will show you the different codes first before showing the application. You go up to text, Customize Auto Text, you could see the different codes used there. For example, Author shows the author name. I could customize the text of the author here saying, Imagine Motions. Okay, and the code for that will be Author. You'd copy that, place a text up here, paste. And it shows the other. This is useful 
when having a lot of data on your documents and you do not want to customize them one by one. An example project would be this template. So in this template, we have project, title, location, architect, owner, the date modified, which is today, the engineer, we could make a code for that, double click, engineer, drawn by, draftsman, sheet number, so I place the letter A, so A is shown all throughout the document, and the page number changes. So when I press next page, it updates by itself, A1, A2, A3, and the sheet number reflects the name of the page here. So I could make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Say text, customize auto text. I want a code that says project title. So I could press plus, custom text, make the new tag, which is sign, project, capital T, title. You notice the code here, project title, doesn't display any text because I haven't typed the custom text. Let's say a three-story residential building. A proposed, okay, click outside, and there goes the project title. Now, if I want to use this, let's say the cover of the page, and I don't want to type everything again, you just click there and make the code project title. And it shows the title of the project. However, it is on every page. So every page I go, it shows the project title. Let's say architect. Text, custom text. There's no code here that says architect, so I can add one custom text, architect, capital A, and say Leandro Loxin. You could choose just to type it here since it will reflect on every page. However, on other documents, you have other data that shows project data, and instead of just typing everything, you could type the code. Date modified shows the date where you last used this layout, so it's useful for revision numbers, draftsman, and project number. So that's how to use auto text and pages. Okay, about layers. Layers work like layers in Photoshop. Whatever is above will go above visually as well. For example, this drawing of three boxes. Say box one, rename this to box two, and box three. I right click this, move to layer, let's say this is a box one, box 2, and box 3. As you can see, they are arranged on top of each other depending on the order of the layer. Since I know this is box 3, and I want to move it below, I could just drag that downwards, and it goes there. That is if you are working with grouped files or a specific organization set, such as plumbing, electrical, structural, because for other drawings, you could just use arrange, right click, arrange, send backward, right click, arrange, send forward, or bring to front to make it to top, and you could put this all in one layer, maybe box one. So if I put this over here, it goes beneath those layers.
So that's how to use layers. You could also toggle their visibility as well. And you can lock them. So if I lock this title block, even if I try to erase anything, the title block does not get affected.